just like that So you can still feel the same Getting there. Man. How old am I now? Fuck. That's a good question. Five years. Five? Is it yeah. Five no, I years? built the mirror up when I was 16. So, where are we headed today, Seth? Where are we skating? Quonset. The hut. The hut? Yeah. Why don't you tell everyone what the Quonset is? It's an indoor skate park. Indoor skate park? Hosted by my generous aunt and uncle. Okay. Well, it's not an indoor skate park, it's a riding arena, right? So basically how it started was um, my brother, who's best friends with Roy, his parents built, well they made a big chunk of money on some real estate, and they are big into roping, so they built the Quonset, and they put that whole stretch of cement in there with the idea that they were gonna give Roy a place to skate in the winter. And I kind of got a hold of that, and uh, Next thing I knew, our, me and Roy were out there kind of just talking about how big we could build the ramp uh, that's not there anymore now, but uh, that kind of really got things going because his parents basically told Roy that he could have one and then I was like, I'll build it, like, I've always wanted to build one, like, let me do it, so I just paid for it. I was just like so excited, I just like didn't even worry about the money and then uh, got a little bit of money from everybody and eventually from there it was... Roy had a couple ledges that he brought out, and then, uh, yeah, and then I had some flat bars, and then it was just, like, every day, like, everyone's going out there, like, because at the time, it, it was better than the outdoor skate park, yeah. like, it was just, like, where else are you going to skate, like, it's, 
you know, it's a drive, but take turns driving, get two more ends, go out. Yeah, the first time. First time I went, that went out there, there wasn't anything there. I think me and Roy had to take ledges out there that were built like, at his parents' old house and set them up. So when we first got there, like, the first time, there was only like the one, the taller box that's really short. Yeah, and no one skates. Anymore. No, the skinny boxes. Are there. Yeah, and then the one that the coping always falls off. And that was still yeah. like probably like the best spot I've ever seen. With just those well, it was just concrete. Like, Concrete's enough to like you go skate flat and have a good like, time. Like there was just like it was just like real like the ground. It was like wow, this ground is better than any skate park ground. It was mini ramp, bike rack. Uh, then I brought my flat rails there, the square ones, and then Bill brought the coping for the 20 foot, and then I built the up ledge and the kickers, and then from there. Ledge, and then and then That's when it started happening. No, no, no. But even at that time, there wasn't any like the pool table or anything built. No, like, none the of the pool room or like the washroom. All that shit wasn't even there. No, none of the stalls. None of the none. That was like grade ten. Yeah, it was, like, and then I, I remember being bummed when they actually built that because yeah. I was like, fuck. Like, it's not as so, wide. Yeah. yeah. It takes me like this fucking toilet takes up half the space. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I don't know, I was out money and I was 
like basically like, if you want to come out you gotta pay 50 bucks like this shit's not free <laughs> like, yeah. like you can come out and use it and then but and then that got taken advantage of like a bunch of the older g locs that barely even skate anymore like come out all the time like bring girls out there like catching him doing some pretty shitty stuff out there and it was just like and then it just had to be cut like no one got calls no one got invited out everyone got told not to go out and there's been a couple times where heat's been left on or like you know it, i mean it's not a cheap place at all to run like when stuff is left on and it's like they're doing us a favor by letting us out there like it's a riding arena before a skate park type thing and that's something people don't remember oh shit it's mm -hmm. like it's like getting something free and asking for more. Yeah. But what does the uh, quads mean to you? Like, what does it mean having this place you can skate at all the time? Um, quads, it's fun, and it's awesome to come here in the winter, keep us sane. You know. I really appreciate it. Somewhere you go to a park and it's so busy. And it's a nice day and everything, right? Like the weather's good, but you know, it's, yeah, it's fucking packed. And you go to closet, pick your music, fucking have a beer, warm up, stretch. Like, what's this guy doing? It's everything, man. It's a weekend escape. It's like a holiday, really. No soccer moms. <laughs> Kids on scooters. And just some solitude? Yeah. <clears throat> what, what it means to us? Yeah. Uh, it means that I suck at skating everything else. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, you skate Kwanzaa for too long, you gotta be like, what are these fucking cracks? I can't. <laughs> what would you guys do if you couldn't skate anymore or if all the ramps rotted over and we had no more Kwanzaa or anything like that? Um. Probably start selling crack, start hooking on the street. Oh, you cow. Winter would be a lot longer. Yeah, without the closet? Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, I have a noose in my closet if uh, that ever happened. So. The coolest, like, when I realized how like sick closet was, it's just like, I was chilling at like Cochran Park. Devin Morrison, he's like really well known skater in Calgary. And he was like, I was sitting there and he was talking to his friend. He was like, "Yeah, like I heard this. I heard this kid has like this secret indoor skate park in the country, like outside Crosby." And I remember sitting there and like I wasn't in the conversation at all, and I was just like almost like snickering to myself. And they were just like, "Man, like, I don't know." Like just like to hear people like talk about it like that, and then just the fact that people out there went and yeah. It's good time. It's heated. Yes, yeah, nice. perfect cement, like yeah. nice pool table, out. fridge, like indoor climbing. It's essentially yeah, like an, all the good things about an indoor park, but it's kind of private, which yes. is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised it lasted this long because I, I'm good friends with their daughter too, Graham's daughter, and she's basically saying like, yeah, they kind of want you to get everything out of there by graduation, and I mean that was two years ago, so. <laughs> It's like the place to be for like leaving. If you're like yeah. going somewhere, yeah. It's like that place holds like such a strong. It's like our last, it, like, last like, session. Like, it's corny, but like it holds like such a strong presence in my life that it's like like when I went to Australia for like a year. The last thing I did before I woke up the next day and got on a plane was go skate Quanzaa. I remember like saying bye to like my friends in Airdrie at the bar and being like, yeah. "No, I gotta go skate Quanzaa." And they were like, "What the fuck? Where are you going?" Like, I'm going to skate Quanzaa. Like, what the fuck? And then just like the first thing I did when I got back from Australia was call Martin oh. and skate Kwanzaa like right off the plane. That's what it is. It's like it's fun. I don't know. It's better than Paris. Suck
come out to play. That every demon wants his power.